Hello, my name is Tyler Dean, and welcome to video problem four, uh, linear algebra at Hiram College. So today, our problem is we're explaining the columns of an n by n matrix A, and t describing why it's linearly independent when A is invertible. We have to do this without using the invertible matrix theorem or any other theorem that comes after section 2.2. So we have a little bit to work with, which was good. There's a lot of things we can pick apart from different sections, and that's why I have put together below. So we have a few things as such as the matrix like has n pivots, the matrix A has n pivots, so that makes sense, it just translates. Since the matrix A is square, the n pivot columns must be on the diagonal. This implies that n pivots should lie in n columns. We sort of worked that today in class. So all columns of A are linearly independent. Thinking about just because of those two reasonings and columns of A are linearly independent when A is invertible. That is a relation that I found earlier in the book in chapter one. So now we can consider A is invertible matrix of n by n order. This means A cannot equal zero. We can guess this matrix, sort of like the setup. You can transfer it to the vectors with their separate things. So then we can also consider the setup in equation form. And when there are constants, if we want to show columns of A are linearly independent, it is enough to show just basically a summarized version of it. And we can prove this by the definition of being linearly independent. We could also consider like taking it down to the scalars with the vector form and putting it all together with the equation. Then we can reverse it into the summarized version and back to the matrix version, which still equals the normal thing. Then that is basically just CA equals zero. Since A is invertible matrix of A inverse exists. And there's a little bit more algebra to show a proof. And this also applies that any C together just equals zero. And it also means columns of A are linear.